Hello everybody, you're watching Ad Free Tenacious Viking TV. Welcome to Production Line. I'm T Tenacious Viking, your plant manager host. Well, I've been playing this off camera privately for some time. It's not an easy game to figure out, and it, it, it is still it's an early access, so it's changing, but I'm going to take a stab at it. I don't pretend to be an expert, but I have an idea. Um, I did okay in a small factory. I was making some pretty good money um, and able to expand and, and learn how to add a cup, another line of cars and some things like that. So, I, like I say, I don't, I don't know that I've got this mastered, but I think I can muddle through. <laughs> You start with, this is the big, biggest factory I could find, and that's how I want to start. And I'm going to start here. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen this game, uh, your, your job obviously is to, to build a, a production line to make cars and to sell them at a profit so you can expand and, and add some other, uh, other uh, lines of cars and, and maybe some other uh, features within the, the cars. You start with a sedan. And um, you got to keep an eye on about everything. Um, you, these green area areas are where you can put things like research uh, centers and uh, marketing. This is a nice big one. I like that a lot. I'm going to fill that up with research centers initially, and then I'll nuke some of them for some other things that I that I need later on. Uh, I'll be able to expand and buy uh, uh, additional parts, and I'm going to save those for eventually you get to the point where you can make some of your own parts, and that's what I'm going to save these four so that's my strategy I'm gonna start right here um, the the green arrows are where you can receive supplies and you have conveyors to deliver those supplies the blue ones are where you can turn out the export cars for sale I don't know if I have will have enough room to be able to use this one as an export or not but I'm gonna try it um, the 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 interface, uh, this gets you the main menu, obviously. Uh, this gives you some options. Um, this allows you to save the game. This is this is your big big work area right here, slots. It gives you all in a row all the things you need to have to get your factory started. This is for research. Uh, this is this will be for marketing. This is where your uh, cars that aren't stock uh, are, are listed, and this is where you can uh, change some car designs uh, up here on this uh, factory efficiency statistics, which are very important to keep an eye on. Uh, achievements, big deal. And then there's some nice things here. You can toggle the display of the overhead conveyors where supplies are. Uh, you can toggle a display of slot and vehicle notices and warnings. I'm not really quite sure what that does. Uh, but the nice thing is you can take a screenshot of the whole thing or you can take a screenshot without uh, the user interface, um, which is nice. I will be using overusing that for, uh, for thumbnails. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do uh, in every production line is uh, make a chassis. And um, this is not the direction I want to go, so I'm going to use the R key to whip it around. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave... Ooh, how much? One, two, three, four, five. There's five there. Another five there. Another five there. Gosh, I could almost get four of those across, couldn't I? Uh, I'm going to leave a spot here, just in case I need... Uh, something to uh, to come out from this area here at some point and I'm gonna back off uh, as far as I can here uh, save a little room again for a conveyor should I need it that is really loud <laughs> so I'll be producing a sedan here when I give it some supplies uh, next is fit body now here's the trick these things are three by three but eventually you need to replace those with uh, with five pieces, if you will, um, to to uh, to do to fit the body individually in, in individual stages, and it becomes more efficient, but it also takes up more space. So I'm going to allow two spaces between each of these. I think let's see, chassis ensemble. Oh, that expands to a lot. So I may need to back up into that new area for chassis ensemble eventually. Uh, fit body. Oh, that only has three, so I don't need extra space for that. I don't. Well, I'm going to need more because some of those expand too. Paint I know is going to take five. Fit engine I know is going to take five or more. Fit accessories is going to take a bazillion. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe more. Uh, 
Well, it, I don't think I'll need those additional ones because I'll farm those out to some of these side uh, side places and then I come back to the main line. Uh, even quality check, I'm going to need four or five sp of four spots and then export so five for that so I'm going to put two between these anyway just because I um, um, I, I just I don't trust it <laughs> so here's the paint wow that is so loud let me <laughs> check some options here um, yeah let's get that master volume down a bit and maybe the sound effects down a little as well um, there it doesn't say apply changes, so I, I don't know if I guess I haven't changed anything else. Okay. Uh, so that was paint. Uh, then we need fit engine, which is also going to be two. You need you need room for one of these um, to to run some side conveyors, to. Uh, so that's another reason to add some some extra room, and then fit accessories. Um, I'm going to give myself a little extra room here as well because I've got the space. I can go all the way down to here before I have to export this. Uh, in fact, I'm kind of wishing I'd give myself a little more space anyway. That's fit accessories. Okay, then i got to fit electronics and I'm going to give myself extra space for that. And then I've got the quality check which I'm going to do right here and I can I can string some other things together. Now, none of these pieces can get from one place to, a ne to the next, can they? So I need to use the conveyor. And you're better off, best off starting right with the piece and running the conveyor all the way through uh, another one, because sometimes it doesn't know enough to go, <laughs> to go through there. So again, I'm going to start here and go all the way through to here. And uh, and then um, I need to put an export right here, and uh, give myself some room for uh, conveyors. Um, I only need about four things here, so the corners are a little tricky. You got to do one of these to get it to turn. And, and that should start it up. That should do it. Let's see if... Oh, nope. I'm forgetting something very important. What am I forgetting? Well, I'm forgetting... Uh, resources. I need a resource importer right here. And I'm going to split this up a little bit. So... Um, oh, wait. Resource conveyor. The green spots, that's where I need resources. So I think I'm going to go over here. i got to go around that way. Um, OK, so I'm going to I'm going to do this instead then. I'm going to I'm going to come around this side. Can I go this way? Will it do that? Yeah, it will. OK. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up. Uh, can I do that? Yeah, it'll do that. Yeah, I'll hook up to those. Now, what am I gonna do down here? Well, down here I'm gonna start one here. I'm gonna put another resource importer in, and I'm gonna connect all of these places. I don't really want to come over that way. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to line up right here. There. And now I have to do... And I'll see if I can go across there. Yeah, I can. Okay. So those are all connected to a resource conveyor. I don't need resources for the check, but I will need resources, I think, for a, a redo in case I need to make repairs. I may need to move this down, but I think I think it'll be okay to start with. Okay, that should give me what I need to start uh, a production line. So let's go into uh, to go into motion. It's going to tell me I need resources uh, uh, because everything is yeah, uh, it's supplying the entire plant at the moment. Um, 
when you zoom in close enough you can actually see the work begin here they are they're uh, putting together the first chassis and we'll follow this through and then I'll start on uh, start on some research too as time permits uh, you can you know you can start with a smaller one the tutorial will start with a smaller um, a factory and and that's that's a, a good way to start you won't have room to do a lot of expansion but that's okay you can kind of get your feet wet and and get get the first uh, thing started okay there goes the chassis up to the body um, work you can see they're welding the body on all the pieces and parts are right there it's really cool animation uh, I really like that and I'm not a I'm not a big car guy I um, to me cars are transportation a way to get from point A to point B uh, but I do appreciate <laughs> cars uh, various models and various ways I have my nostalgic favorites and so on but um, it's still really loud <laughs> when you get up close and personal you can kind of back away more resources coming in all the time because we're using these up a and that's why I've kind of split that up I don't, if you have one conveyor resource conveyor running everything uh, it's real easy to get behind this takes a little while it takes a little while to make it I'm, I'm running in the slowest speed um, I can definitely speed up um, you know later on and, and I'll do I'll do some of that um, because <laughs> when you've seen one car built you've seen them all All right, there's another chassis ready. More chassis are ready and waiting. Uh, this will go to paint, and um, paint's going to take a while. Uh, in this one spot, they paint, and then they dry, and then they paint some more, and then they dry some more, and it, that takes a while also. So let's go into research. To carry out any research, you need to place down one or more research facilities. You'll find them inside the facilities folder in the slot picker on the main screen. So i got to do that. Um, right do, 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 do. facilities research office I told you I was gonna make a bunch of these I don't know how much money I've got but um, whatever I'll put down uh, a row of these for now because research is really important and it's really easy to fall behind uh, there are competitors I think two competitors in this game there that gives us some research offices yeah I know you don't have any research I'm getting there I'm getting there just want to keep an eye on the on the paint here in the meantime all right let's take a look at uh, you can research technologies safety features driver assistance security features environmental features convenience entertainment performance so on processes is what I'm interested in um, specialize like I say eventually you can make your own uh, parts uh, but I'm interested in efficiency right here. More robots is what I want to research first. So we're researching that. If I go over to here now and click on it, says more robots. That's what they're researching. Okay, painting should be done. I may go put some more uh, research in queue here as soon as this painting's done. We have another car assembled ready for painting. Painting is kind of one of the slowest spots, so it might be one of the first things I want to expand. And now we move on to uh, to fitting the engine. It doesn't look like they're fitting an engine to me. It just looks like they're working on the body. And it's very loud yet. Wow, that's... Um, you know, a, a car factory would be loud, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let me turn down the uh, sound effects volume a little more. Okay. There we go. That's a little better. Nice green car. They paint them different colors. This doesn't take terribly long time, I don't think. It does not look like a like a like an engine's going in there. But, uh, they need to work on that animation. Um, I might be able to get the attention of the uh, of the developer. Developers released a number of videos. Um, 
but I, he's hard to understand, and he's so into the game that he he doesn't he doesn't take it slow enough for beginners. Um, so you you kind of have to watch his video several times to pick up uh, to pick something up. So here they're putting on accessories, um, and while they're doing that, let me take a look at some more research. Uh, improved efficiency. I'd like to do that next. I can add that to the queue. Administration. I want to do that next because I want to be able to do some marketing. I'm not too concerned about uh, power production. Well, I, uh, power production is nice. You can put your own power plants in and save some money. Um, car designs. I don't know. So you can't do that until you get uh somewhere in here you get to uh advanced production power production um i don't remember where that is i'll have to look up where the uh we're getting the the design um because you have to put a design center in and you have to research something first uh i might take a look at that real quick um yeah, car designs. Uh, technology, safety features. I'd like to get that in progress. Driver assistance. Those things are going to become um, more common. And I'm going to hold off on environmental for now. Um, entertainment performance. And I'm going to hold off on that also. Uh, see what I really, really need. Let me take a look at this um, research office you can do the research center the slot has not yet been researched and I'm not quite sure how okay we're moving on now to uh, uh, the electronics now on it oh, didn't take long on an inspection there may be defects and one of the decisions we have to make is um, right now we can't uh, eventually we'll be able to fix the defects or at least fix most of them but we have to make a decision about what we want to do with uh, with defects that doesn't does not seem to have any defects um, so we'll get them down to the exporter prep the car for sale and that'll show up as one up here on uh, car stock Uh, look, it looks to me like they're just checking their phones, but yep, they are. <laughs> All right, so now we go to our our room. Uh, oops, sold right away. Wow, well, that's great. Super duper. So I made some money, but are we selling it too cheap? See, we're losing twenty seven thousand dollars on a car, uh, so we got to raise the price a bit. Uh, we're still going to lose twenty three thousand. I don't know why the production cost is so high, and I don't know why it changes so violently, but it does. It really whips back and forth. Market value 16 emissions, so on. Yeah, see, it's 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 selling way above uh, market price. Um, so that's worrisome. I don't know if the cars gonna, are going to sell that well um, yet. and uh, the cars are not coming through very fast because it takes so long to paint them okay this is full this queue is full um, now one of the things we can do is we can build another fit body uh, section and a paint section especially and then just have it join the line here uh, and that'll that'll make the cars a little faster, but I got to figure out why uh, I'm losing so much money on these things right now. Name, style, price. Uh, you can create a similar model and put some different uh, different uh, things on it. Uh, but I think that's what uh, what we have to do. Um, I don't know how much the research offices cost. 64,000. I'm going to do some more and speed up research. Um,
there that'll speed up our research considerably and um, my time is up for this episode I uh, hope you've enjoyed it uh, leave a like if you have and let me know if you want to see more production line um, I think it's interesting um, it's a challenge to be sure but I think it's interesting um, I, I'm going to be doing some of the grindy work uh, um, as uh, as Twitch streams uh, coming up so um, get yourself a Twitch account if you don't have one and, and follow me and uh, you'll be able to come in and see some of the earlier uh, early early work on this game um, I'll probably just go on let it run a little bit see how things are going and, and I, I probably have to add uh, a second fit body and a second paint section um, on the Twitch stream before the next episode um, because I'm I'm losing money right now and you know uh, see how fast this car sells I, I hope it sells pretty fast uh, but I don't know the market uh, I haven't studied that uh, I'll have to look at some more um, uh, research as well and, uh, and and plan that out. We'll get notifications when other companies uh, have no, have researched something and how common things are becoming. And I'll show you how to look at those uh, too next time uh, and some of these other, uh, other options, menu options uh, up here. And probably next time we'll start running this at, uh, at a faster speed as well. Um, uh, to move things along a little a little bit faster but uh, watch that twitch stream coming up in in a few days um, um, where I try to move this along and and uh, kind of get a better feel for where we're headed uh, here thank you so much for watching welcome new subscribers uh, appreciate it. there okay there's uh, some research done fit rear arch a new upgrade need to apply the upgrade to the individual slots for it to take effect. Um, I'll have to view that and, uh, and make a decision about that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, just uh, I have to watch a few more things happen first before I make some of those decisions. Some of those may be applied to all cars, some of those may only be applied to some new models, and I'll have to show you how to make similar models as well. Thank you. Thanks again uh, so much for watching. Um, do check out my Patreon page. Um, I'm committed to running an ad-free YouTube channel, um, and, but to do that, I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need patrons to support uh, my efforts to uh, expand, to grow the channel, to play, uh, to offer more games, and just to do this at all. Join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Production Line. And another thing I've always told people, um, it seems to me the world is meaner every day, and, and I don't like that. Uh, the only thing I can think of to do is, uh, is just to be better than that. And uh, the easiest way and the most rewarding way is to simply be kind. Oh.